VIP Hair Color Shampoo. Hair the natural color. Pakka. Next speaker, Sri P. Ravindranath. So thank you for the opportunity, sir. So I thank the exceptional service to the nation that Indian Railways had contributed during the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> it is truly admirable that Indian Railways rose to the occasion by dynamically adapting passenger service, freight, and even train coaches to support the nation as it went through several waves of the coronavirus pandemic. I wish to appreciate the Indian Railway for emerging as a beacon of hope during the national crisis. So, furthermore, in a bid to address the lack of hospital beds amid rising COVID-19 cases, Indian Railway deployed nearly 5,600 isolation coaches with more than 7,000 beds. It is quite commendable that railways is a key contributor to the drive towards self-reliance under our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, initiative of Adman Nirbar Bharat. I wish to congratulate our Honorable Minister of Railways, <laughs> Sri Aswini Vaisnav ji, uh, for rolling out the indigenously developed automatic train protection system named Kavak, which will be deployed across the entire rail network beginning with 2,000 kilometers in the 2022-23 fiscal. During the next three years, as many as 400 indigenously built new generation Vande Bharat Express train with better energy, efficiency and better passenger riding experience is expected to be developed and manufactured, which in fact is a matter of pride. Another novel concept I wish to appreciate is the announcement of the One Station, One Product, which will help local businesses and supply chain in that particular local, locally. Also, with the aim of uh, fulfilling the 100% electrification target of December 2023, the budget has enhanced the target to 6,500 root kilometers. Sir, with the Indian Railway having envisaged the National Rail Plan for India 2030 to create future ready railway system by 2030, the allocation of rupees 60,000 crore per annum for the next five years as gross budgetary support for capital expenditure stands justified. I wish to welcome her the allocation of 1,37,300 crore as gross budgetary support for 2022-23, which is a 17% upward change compared to the budgetary estimates of 21-22 which will further help in augmenting its infrastructure during the period 21-51. Sir, I would like to take the opportunity to thank our Minister of Railways and his uh, President pres pres Sri Piyus Goilji for their express exceptional support for the long-pending uh, Madurai Bodhi Nayaknur broad gauge conversion project. Sir, in my Thani parliamentary constituency, that Madurai to Bodhinayakunar pa passenger service in Tamil Nadu operated is in the narrow gauge line for more than 50 years. However, the operation were halted in 20, uh, 2010 due to gauge uh, conversion. Though efforts were made in the initial years to complete the project, I am thankful for the fact that the project gathered best on the blessings of our NDA government under our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. Sir, nearly 70% of the works are completed in the last uh, three years. And every time I approach our uh, railway ministers, they are extremely generous enough to allocate all the required funds needed for the speedy completion of the project. Sir, the last week, the railway station until Thani was commenced and the service was are expected to commence anytime soon. I am given to understand that the sanction for this service is awaiting approval of the railway board, for which I request our honorable railway minister's intervention in this uh, matter. Sir, the revival of this line will help these thousands of students, office goers, and other daily commuters and easy access to the upcoming Ames Hospital in Madurai. Also, Thani being an agri-horticulture hub, 
the railway line will considerably help the farmers' community with the movement of their produce at the reduced cost. Sir, finally, I will conclude by placing few requests with the Honourable Minister of Railways. I wish to request, uh, Honourable Minister, that this Madurai Bodhi Niagara Broadgauge Conversion Project in my Taini Parliament constituency may also be included in this uh, yes budgetary target for electrification of railway lines. Number two, sir, I would also like to request that the new railway line from Dindikkal to Lawyer Camp via Vatalagundu, Periyagulam, Taini, Chinnamnur, Uttamapalayam, Kambam, uh, Lawyer Camp uh, may be sanctioned. This historical line will open up abundant opportunities towards development of this region by being an engine of process in the form of uh, logistical support for agricultural sector as well as opening up avenues in the tourism front with adjoining state of Kerala as well as benefits of uh, millions of pilgrimages uh, visiting Sabarimala every year to worship Lord Ayappa. With regard to the recruitment of the, to the uh, Southern Railways, I wish to uh, request that candidates from Tamil Nadu should be given priority in all railway division in Tamil Nadu. Uh, I wish to request that, sir, to, yes. to also consider establishing large railway industrial units similar to the integral uh, coach factory in the suitable southern districts like uh, Madurai, which, will, which would help in the employment generation for the youth yes, as well as the economic development uh, of our southern parts of uh, Tamil Nadu. Sir, I wish to conclude by voting in favour of this demand for grants on behalf of my AADMK party and I look forward for a much promising future of our Indian Railways with a total upgradation of our ageing uh, railway infrastructure and enhanced quality of service. Thank you very much. Sir. VIP Hair Colour Shampoo Hair the natural colour? Pakka!